Hey everybody, we're back with more Wind Waker and I'm on Tetra's pirate ship. Let's go take a look around. I know where I gotta go, but I want to explore a little bit. I feel like I should make a... Sailing the high seas, there's nothing in sight. I feel like I should be making a joke from ten years ago about you're on a boat. Too much water. Is that supposed to be better than the too much sand joke? <laughs> You get out of here, out of the way, will ya? Dot, 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 dot. Turn around right now and climb down. I'll do even better than climb down. He likes to watch you walk. Yeehaw! I thought there, isn't there a fall damage though, or? Nope, not, apparently not. What do you gotta say? Wow, his glasses are broken. That Nico didn't make out half bad. With you being the new Swabby and all. New Swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal, but hey. I'll tell you, it sounds, it sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom of the rung on the pirate ladder. You bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine, so long as you don't disobey him. Why, what's he gonna do? Let's see what this guy wants. Hey, he looks so bored. Uh, so your name's Jeff, right? <laughs> That's one weird getup you got there. Thank you. My grandma made it for me. Well, you are wearing Crocs. So what's the deal? Is that popular Is that popular back on your island or what? I don't know. I think only one other person ever got it. And I think it was all boys that, like, <laughs> that turned his age, which I guess I don't think he's 13. Now that I think about it, though, I think I've seen an outfit like that somewhere before. You probably have if you've been reading the history books of Hyrule. I would like just a crack at one joke about um, seagulls and stuff. I wonder if I could jump off of the boat. Probably not. But how come no one gets shit on? Just saying. See, those are our friends. Ah, oh, invisible wall. Okay. Dude, I've been shat on so many times, it's not even funny. Hey, Tetra. Jeff, listen, kid, you can't just stand around on deck. You'll get in everybody's way. I know, I do it on purpose. I've told you, Nico, I've told Nico to look after you, so you'd better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. He wants me to swing around on candlesticks and try to find some treasure. He also doesn't want you to ask him to go bowling. Into the big blue, boys. Turn the ship full starboard. We head to the northern seas. Listen, shrimp, you're really creeping me out standing there like that. <laughs> yeah, I think I've heard that before. So quit it, yeah? Stay out of my way. Way out of my way. Get down below and find Nico. You're going to make I'm starting to think they're trying to get rid of me. You think? So this oh, well, is actually I get a free run of a pirate ship. So ha ha ha. This is actually our first video since we went to uh, Comic Con, which was a blast. At least I had a good time. I don't know about Jeff. I did. Uh, let's see. Can you light that on fire? I don't know. No. Oh, but there's money. Dude, I don't want to talk to you. I want to grab my money. This is Miss Tetris cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. Yeah, I don't know why a ten-year-old girl would want these grown men in her bedroom. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think about it. To be fair, I knew like, why a ten-year-old me wanted a grown guy in the bedroom. Hmm? Kill the spiders. <laughs> See, not everything's perverted, Jeff. But yeah, so we had a great time at Comic-Con. We have a couple of videos you know up on you that. You won't let me in that room? Boom. Yeah, it didn't do dick. So we had a great time at Comic-Con, we got to meet some awesome people, and um, got to take some fun video, and then I had to go back to work. Jeff was, Jeff's still on vacation, this is his last day. Um, I'll let you read that. Oh, well now, ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, <laughs> I'm your superior, Nico. Now I promise I'll go easy on you, so just do as I say, okay? Creepy. This is... This isn't a video that's going to belong on one of those dirty sites, is it? I hope not. Right. Now, first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. Watch everything I'm about to show you real careful so you can cram it into your no-doubt mushy, swabby brain. Yeah, that sounds really creepy. Step on the switch. Come on, just get to it, dude. First off, you got to press this switch. Oh, I like how they highlight switch, the, Nintendo, the new Nintendo system. <laughs> Yeah, this came out even before the Wii U, though, Thunder. They, were pre they predicted their net their newest system like 15 years ago. First of all, you gotta press this switch. It's the only easy part. 
Just walk up to and tilt the control stick up to step on it. Presto, switch pressed. Was it 15 years ago? I think it's my Nintendo since it's a BT though. This game was for GameCube. Oh yeah. Now it's check it out. Good. After these platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Wow. What a revelation. <laughs> I like that sound. Ha! This part actually did give me a lot of trouble in this first game. I got game it just out. fun. Okay, so I was able to jump to the first one myself, but the next one's too far, right? That's when you got to do this. If you jump at the rope, you can grab onto it. Use up and down to swing until you get close enough to the next platform, then press A to let go and jump on it. Or just burn your testicles. Can I just use the hook shot? You Give me a hook shot. They don't have the hook shots. Jeez. So do you think you'll... You got how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform to try and get to the entrance of the room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms will only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you gotta start all over. Asshole. Uh. So it'll probably take you at least a year before you get good enough to make it all the way here. Let's hope not. One rough year. One tough year, a full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now go on and give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. I think if you hit that one, it resets him. Can't get on there. There we go. Yep. That puts him down. Yep. Now the other one brings him up. Yep. So, like I was saying, um, Jeff and I were on. Well, I was on vacation with Jeff for a week, and then uh, the week after Comic-Con, Jeff was still on vacation, and I went back to work. But I'm also a dumbass. Jeff, tell everyone what happened to me. He got sick. Um, I got more than sick. Julie had food poisoning. The best kind of sick. Yeah, I have not even looked at a burrito since. Uh, uh, how do I stop? Stop, stop. Stop swinging. Okay. Because I don't even need that last one. Now, how do I... Can I not spin around yeah, on this you, thing? You can. You use the uh, control stick. No, I can go up and down. Oh no! Wait, then use the uh, C, the C stick. That just makes me look around. Oh, well, there you did it. Anyways, right. I was gonna try and take a shortcut. What? You did it already. I, I, I'm proud to have you as, as my, as my underling. I, I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. Give me what? The D. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. Yep, it's the D. Something's gonna get busted. Alright, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in this chest over there. It's your reward from the great, generous Nico. Hurry and take it before somebody else comes. Oh, come on, Jeff. Jesus. So, hey, yeah, I thought you said you had candy in here. So yeah, um, my voice is a little raspy because I'm the dumbass that threw up so hard I cut my throat open. So yeah, it's been a fun week. I'm gonna smash all these bales before I go. Because I want the money in them. You just wanna fuck shit up. I don't even remember what's in that pirate chest. I feel like it's just a treasure map. I like how when he, he goes, he like dips halfway in there. Because he's so little. You got the spoils back. Oh, spoils. You can keep items and get you get from enemies in this handy pouch. Yay! You can hold up to eight types of items. Press Y, Z, or X on the items screen to see what's inside. I don't think there's anything inside right now. That would be too generous. Press X, Y, and Z again to use one of the one of its contents. Contents? Hey Jeff, we reached the Forsaken Forest Fortress. Hurry up and get out here. Run, Forest, run. Yep. Now these platforms don't move because I already beat their trap. <laughs> Dude, it's not a trap. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him trapped on the other side though. Again, it's not a trap. You can just walk and then. Uh... There's no ladder on that side. No, but he can jump down like you did. Yeah, but I'm Link. He'll get hurt. You concern me sometimes. I hope you know that. Link is special. Okay. Haha, <laughs> this part's fun. 
Hey, Jeff, I'm here. Get up here. Oh, no, you can go up there. We're at the Forsaken Fortress, finally. This is the first dungeon in the game. As you can see, it's straight out there. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game. Well, yeah. What were you doing with Nico? Uh, he told me not to talk or he won't give me the five dollars. <laughs> we were playing a game of whack-a-mole, but we didn't have a mole to whack. So we just so we had to whack other. something else. <laughs> Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? It was uh, kind of treasure, I guess. Tell me to drink a glass of milk. Well, whatever. <laughs> There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed island isle known as Forsaken Fortress. Oh, I thought it was Disney. I thought it was Euro Disneyland. <laughs> Camp Krusty. There's all sorts of strange rumors about that place. What I know is that long is that long ago it used to be a hideout for a no good group of pirates we used to compete with. Hey, there's that big bird. They were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Yeah, as if pirates weren't dangerous. Oh, I knew it. Look, over there. Over there, by that window. All the seagulls, because Ariel is the Aquaman to the seagulls. Seagull girl. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? What? <laughs> Her power shit and everything. <laughs> I'll bet you anything that place is where they got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. So what do we do now? <laughs> I just like Link's face. He's like, are you shitting me? What the fuck? When Whoa, did this happen? He's like, wait, when did I get in this barrel? Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get in a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Except for Link. <laughs> Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you real good. Three. Two. One. And you just He's like, oh, okay, I got to do it. <laughs> And that's how you get rid of a nuisance. Yep. And with Blink getting launched into space and that's hitting a wall. Boom. Oh no, my sword. We're my trusty, trusty sword that's been killing bad guys since, since before I was born. Well, it, with, it loves to stab people. Well, with Link drowning, I think we're going to end this episode. So don't forget to like our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel. Make sure to put your notifications on for us. And check us out on Facebook and our, our little Facebook group, Society of Gamers. So, this has been Julie. And Jeff. And keep watching for more Zelda. Bye!